When it comes to snowbirds, we are seeing um, some people choosing places like Panama and Costa Rica, adventure, exploration, um, and, and really experiencing, again, um, uh, unique destinations. I think some of the younger uh, snowbirds are more adventurous than, than those that have come before them, and so certainly perhaps um, that group is, is more open to more exotic destinations. It is a growing trend, snowbirds looking outside the southern United States when making winter escape plans. People are a lot um, younger, both physically and, and mentally, than they used to be at that age. Whereas in the past, it's all been about comfort. Now it's more about adventure and seeing new things. The Association of Canadian Travel Agencies says snowbird trips outside the U.S. has increased about 12% since the year 2000. Not surprising since that's the trend all around. In fact, they say there's been a 418% growth to non-U.S. destinations since 2000. And while the idea does appeal to some snowbirds... Oh yes, I think that would be very interesting. For most, the tried and true destination of the southern United States still falls more within their comfort zone. The fact that uh, there's all kinds of diseases, things that you pick up at these smaller countries than you pick up in, say, Florida or one of those places. And medical coverage and travel insurance is a key factor for most snowbirds. But experts say your coverage costs shouldn't increase based on your destination. The main factors are going to be your age, your pre-existing health conditions, and the duration of your trip. For those who do have health concerns, selecting a closer destination may be the wiser choice. Getting out of a location in an emergency situation is really going to depend on the location and on the very specific circumstances of the emergency in that case. Of course, the best advice is always to talk to a travel and insurance rep before making your travel plans. In Etobicoke, Audra Brown, City News.